New this morning on the military watch. This is one of the coolest stories and it is happening in the skies right above Hampton Roads as we celebrate Women's History Month. I want to introduce you to five Navy pilots who are soaring to new heights. With each step on the flight line at Naval Air Station Oceana. It's humbling to think like not everyone gets to do this. Lieutenant Michelle Espinal walks a path few like her have traveled. Growing up, there is nothing I ever thought that I couldn't do because I was a female. It just, it's not how the world was when I was born. But she doesn't walk alone. It's a workout every time. <laughs> Espinal is one of five female pilots in the same squadron, unique for the Navy, but for these women. That sounded like the most exciting, like best thing I could possibly do. The cockpit of a fighter jet never seemed out of reach. And I was just in awe at how cool it was. I decided this is the coolest thing ever. The women of Strike Fighter Squadron 213, the Fighting Black Lions, <laughs> Lieutenants Michelle Espinal, Amber Soma, Rebecca Ryan, Michaela Sakach, and Natalie Sava. It's pretty epic, the job that we're doing. So I think sometimes we get really wrapped up in the, the tactics and all that sort of stuff, but it's cool to take a step back and be like, wow, like. This is pretty rare. Rare, even after almost 50 years. The Navy was the first branch of the U.S. military to welcome female aviators. That was in 1974. But it wasn't until nearly two decades later, 1993, when the military finally allowed women to fly combat missions. Today, women make up about 12% of all Navy pilots. The pace of progress can seem slow. There are some squadrons that still don't have very many uh, women, uh, especially in the air crew side, uh, but it's awesome seeing more and more women out there on the flight line. Though that doesn't diminish what these women and those who flew before them have accomplished in the air and with each other. Well, but it's even cooler to be with each other and have such a great female support system that we do in the command. It's a strong network of women. We have a lot of mentors, a lot of role models that they didn't, they didn't used to have that in the past. Now, as these five women soar to new heights above Virginia Beach, they become the role models for a, the next generation of Navy stand. pilots. I would like to think that when young girls see us, they know that there, this is something that you can do. I would tell them that there are seriously no boundaries. Back on the flight line, Lieutenant Espinal says just Go for it. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something um, for any reason. The sky's the limit. Now, for its part, the Navy says it is making strides in attracting female aviators and then advancing them through the ranks. In fact, a little more than a year ago, Aaron, the Navy finally got its first black female fighter pilot, a Virginia native, by the way, and she is based in Texas right now. I'm so glad you did that story. I really got chills the first couple of times that I watched it. I mean, it's so incredible to see those women in their flight suits at, at Oceana. That's an incredible team of five, but you know, they're not alone. They do have some company on base. In fact, just a few steps away at Oceana, there is another woman who is really leading the way. She is in charge, the commanding officer of a squadron known as the Wildcats, Commander Erin Flint. I'm going to introduce you to her and hear her advice for young women in the military tonight on News 3 at 6.